this is a class uh, online lab. Um, you're going to learn how to use the MCT Training Campus website. So to practice with the online questions, um, I'm going to show you how to use the learning path 2. So I want you to sit back and please watch the video carefully so that you know how to use the learning path online. Thank you. All you need to go to is mcttrainingconsultant.com. That's the website. You can see it there. mcttrainingconsultant.com. When you get to that website, after typing it, press enter. It will take you to this web page. When you press enter, it will take you to this web page. This is the website it will take you to. Yes, no, just everybody receiving notification to, has to go because this is a different platform now you're going to. Are we following? Okay, you can always like the page, the Facebook page, and of course follow on Twitter because there are updated informations there as well. Now, when that is done, you see a tab called MCT eCampus. I want you to click on that. MCT eCampus. I want you to click on that. MCT eCampus. Now, once you've clicked on that, there are two icons here. They look alike, right? The first one says login. The second one says login. The first one here says register now. The second one says register now. Are you seeing both of them? Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to do is not to use the second button. Don't even come close to the bottom. Use the one on the top. So the first thing you're going to do is to click on register now. Of course, you can read the information here on the top for, for easier explanation. But the first thing you need to do is to click register now. Are we together? Now, when you click register now, a new page is going to open. A new web page is going to open. The web page is going to contain a form that you need to fill. Are we following? It will contain a form you need to fill. This is a form. You fill in your name. Smith. Your last name. John. Uh, administrative code, leave it blank. Go to username, put a username you want to put. Like in my case, I can put SJ. Are we together? But of course, you know what username is, right? You have to come up with your own username. Password, you put a password you can remember. You reconfirm the password again. You screw down, you put in your email address. Then you go to your phone number, you type in your phone number with the plus 264. Then you put your Skype account. When you're done, you click what? OK. The system will say you've been registered. Continue. Then it will take you to a welcome page. Then it will show you my desktop empty. Or after you've registered and it says confirm, you can easily close this window. Go back again to the same place you click register. Then you can click log in now. Are we, to, are we together? When you click login now, it will take you to the login page. Now, in my case, I'm going to put in my username and my password, which is admin. Then I'm going to press enter. Now, in your case, when you press enter and login, under my course list, you guys are not going to see anything here. Everything here will be empty. Are we following? Everything here will be empty. So what you need to do is to screw down. When, when I register you on a course, after I've done that on Sunday, because it's 24 hours, like I told you, on Sunday it will be there. So when you've been registered, I will send you guys notifications as well. Are we following? When you guys have registered, when you log in into this link, you will see Windows 8.1 like this. You'll see it there, like this. Windows 8.1 class, IT server class 2015, something like that. You'll see a class like that. When you, when you see something like that, then you click on it. It will not take you to a different page. You will see only one tab called Learning Path. That's the only one you're going to see. You click on it, then you see it's Test Practice. 
not exam practice. You see test practice. Then you click again, tests. Then you click start module. When you click start module, a page is going to pop up to put in your name and course details. Are we together? So you just put in your name, then you put in your class. Then you click start. The first question will pop up. If the correct answer to you is C and D, you check them, then you click what? OK. It will give you the correct answer immediately. It says wrong. The correct answer was B and what? D. So all you need to do is to click OK. You cannot go and select it again. You go to the next question. You move on to the next question. If the next question, it says, which command tool can you use to capture custom Windows image? Then you say image X. It says, good, write what? Answer. So you continue like that until you get to the end of the question. Then it gives you a summary of your performance. You scored 20 out of 8 or 20 out of 20. So when you're done, of course, the ones you got wrong, you want to go and correct them again. Then you come to the button here where you see exam 70 or test 76. You click on it. It will reset the program. You start again. You do it as many times until you are able to click every question that says, good, right answer, good, right answer. Are we together? Yes, sir. On the class, you put in class 2015. You can put Angola <laughs> independence. It will not deny you access. Sir. Just put something. Uh, is, is it a matter to have a skip button? No. Mm -hmm. For the form where you're feeling. Mm -hmm. No, you can skip it. I know you hate voice of IP. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> are we together? Please, I, I will try to upload the video. There are two things I'm going to up I will upload the video, hopefully maybe tonight, because I'm going to uh, try to produce it, and I'll upload it.